So I was reflecting the other day on my business, the business I'm in at the moment. And if, if you don't know, I am a mindset coach. I support women all around the world to move from that kind of feeling of self-doubt to a real strong self-belief, an unshakable self-love and self-fulfillment. And I was reflecting on my business and just thinking about how much I really love it and how amazingly it's going and continues to go and to grow. And I was thinking back to a previous business I had, my first business that I started with uh, a good friend and my business partner in 2015. And I was realizing the real differences between the two businesses. And the thing that came up was that in my previous business, there were lots of beliefs that I was running. There were lots of thoughts that were going around my head that actually were creating a feeling inside me that just didn't quite feel how I was wanting to feel. And so I'm wondering if any of those beliefs, those thoughts have run through your head if you're a business owner, or even if you've just considered jumping into this world of entrepreneurship and, and have thought about it and maybe stepped back because there have been certain things that you've thought about. So I wrote them all down because I can't remember them all off the top of my head and, you know, my teleprompter's broken. It's not. I don't have a teleprompter. That would be weird. Um, and so I'm just going to read some of them out to you and see whether they resonate with you. These were definitely things that when my business partner and I started our business, we were in this kind of mindset of, okay? So building a successful business is tough. Yeah, building a successful business is tough. It's hard work. Yeah. I have to know a lot about business before I can start. I must have a full strategic plan in place. I have to charge less or offer my services for free at the beginning. You probably thought that one. People won't work with me because they'll think I'm inexperienced, particularly when I start. And that'll probably stop people working with me. Getting clients will be really difficult and a constant source of panic. I'll have to sell and I'm crap at selling or I hate selling. Making the money I want will take a lot of time and it will be tricky, if not impossible. I'm wondering whether you have any of those beliefs running through your mind, your heart, whether they show up for you or thoughts like that show up for you in running your own business or considering starting a business. They absolutely did for me and my business partner when we were running our business just a few years ago. And it's not to say that the business didn't do well. Actually, the business was great. We had loads of fantastic clients. We were working around the country. We you know, were really highly thought of and had loads of amazing feedback and we were earning really good money. It was great on the surface, but the thing was there was always this slight looming fear behind it. There was this kind of dread and looming what ifs. These what ifs showing up as, what if no one responds to the email that we send out, that we've taken ages to create. What if they say no to the pitch? What if they say they can't afford it? That's a big one. What if they say they can't afford it? What if no one books on to that course or that training or whatever it is we were offering? And what if it doesn't go well this time? It always has done, seems to in the past, but what if this time is the time it doesn't go well? What if we get bad feedback? What if the clients run out and the things run dry and the money stops coming in? What if, what if, what if? Those looming what ifs can absolutely kill the passion and joy that you go into a business with. Before you know it, those looming what ifs, that kind of dread, 
those beliefs that you're running not only can kill that joy, but they can kill the business. And I, I seriously believe that's why so many first time businesses seem to fail or close or or not turn out in the way that the people starting them have really wanted them to. Because that dread, those looming what ifs, can absolutely fill your mind to the point where the thing you started out of absolute purpose and passion and love and drive can actually be the thing that's causing disengagement, disconnection and fear and discomfort in your life. Now, actually, my business partner and I were kind of lucky enough that we never quite got to that point with our business. Weirdly, a brain injury for me and a, a pregnancy with twins for her swooped in and kind of saved us from that ultimate fate that if we'd have carried on in the way we were, believing the things about our business or about business in general that we did, then our business probably wouldn't have ended up the success we really wanted it to be. What kept running through our minds were these questions of, is it always going to be this hard? Is it always going to be this hard? Am I always going to have to battle and push and pull to get where I want to go? And those questions after said brain injury, which is a story for another time if you don't know it, those questions, when I was recovering and finally felt like I'd recovered enough from the injury I'd suffered, those questions came up again for me when I was thinking about my next steps and moving forwards and creating a new business that could evolve out of the business and all the amazing things I'd had from my last business and career, I stopped and asked myself those questions again. I asked myself those questions on a really deep level and to a really deep place inside me, not just as a, a kind of you know external exercise. I asked myself about business, about life, is it always going to be this hard? Am I always going to have to battle and push and pull to get where I want to go? And in that moment, the answer came to me. I chose the answer. No. No, it's not. I chose the answer that life's not hard. I don't need to battle or push or pull to get to the beautiful destination the intention, the purpose that I'm moving towards. Life's beautiful and kind and expansive. And I choose to receive good things with openness and with ease. I chose to decide that instead. And I'm not saying that that instantly was a quick fix, but it definitely was the start with the current business that I'm running, that I am living and loving and is growing more and more amazing every day. And as I continued on my journey of creating this business that I'm in now, I started asking myself more questions like that and answering them. And so I've written a few of those down. So I'm going to read them to you. Building a successful business is energizing and empowering. And I judge my success on my own learning and growth. Just think about that for a second. If you believed that, how might your business or your idea of your business be different? With an aligned purpose in mind, I take the first step, often before I feel ready. At each point on my path, I can reconnect and choose to step back, step sideways, stand still, or step forwards. I offer my clients the empowering opportunity to invest time, energy, money, in their own personal transformation. I offer them the empowering opportunity to invest in themselves. By showing up and serving as my authentic self, clients come to me with ease, positivity and passion. If you can, rewind that and listen to those back 
And really ask yourself the question, if I truly believed those things about myself and my business, how might I show up differently right now? As I said before, I'm not saying that just by deciding those things and stating those things to myself, my business changed in an instant and grew to what it is now. Yes, it took some work. Yes, it took some figuring out and some problem solving. And yes, it's had some challenges and it's had some lows as well as highs, but it definitely was the start of an amazing shift. And those lows feel so different now than the lows that I had in my previous business when I really believed that fundamentally we probably weren't going to succeed in some way because it was too hard. It was too much to ask. The key is that I started to master my own mindset around how I thought about, felt about and looked at my business. Rather than jumping straight in with all the strategy and the how to and what next, I looked at what was going on inside my own mind, inside my own heart, inside my own body. And I decided to move away from a place of fear to a place of love. I decided to move from a place inside myself of lack and scarcity to a place of abundance. And from that panic I felt to a place of faith. And I continue to do that every day. It's not a one and done kind of thing. Every single day I ask myself these deeper questions and I remind myself to choose to move from a place of love and abundance and faith rather than that fear and lack and panic. It really is my kind of life's greatest joy to be on that journey every day to move to a place that really brings me joy. So I'm wondering where you are on your journey. Where are you on your journey in here? in your mind, in your heart, not just strategically, not with the facts and figures, but with what's going on in yourself. Because ultimately, that's what really matters. So drop me a comment, let me know. And if you want any more videos like this, or you want to read the blog article on this, which might give some different insights, then make sure to head over to my website. I'll put the details below. Take care, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.